Hello, we are team Shonya from India and we are participating in the remote edition of the ERC 2022. Our team is divided into management, software, science, mechanical and electronics divisions. The management division looks into project planning, organization of resources and recruitment. Specific members of the team are made responsible for various tasks of the challenge to ensure smooth workflow, increased productivity and high quality solutions. The science division plays an active role in research, geological mapping and development of a scientific hypothesis. Software solutions are tested on prototypes developed by the mechanical and electronics divisions. Participation in the ERC provides us with a platform to fuel our interest in robotics and develop skills in it. We are exposed to the latest technologies and get to test them on standard hardware. Competing with teams from all over the world requires us to work with people from diverse backgrounds and helps us develop technical and managerial skills. The recognition at an international level will open the doors for us to explore various opportunities in the field of robotics. We have been preparing for the challenge for one year and held team discussions during the pandemic. Project management software ClickUp was used to the team progress and status of regularly communicate with judges over matter most and clarify our doubts. On campus, we have a spacious workplace where the entire team works together, post discussions, test solutions, hardware, and bring ideas to life. We are grateful as we have extremely supportive mentors to guide us. As part of the preparation, we have developed multiple prototypes for testing purposes. We also indulge in recreational activities to keep ourselves physically and mentally fit. For the science task, extensive research and analysis was carried out. For planning, GMR software was used. Various layers of properties such as rock abundance, minerals, thermal inertia were added to understand the mass yard. Using drone images and 3D map amongst other materials provided helped us identify different geological features, determining how they are formed and their relative ages. With all the relevant information collected, we conclude our hypothesis which can then be tested and verified on mass yard. During the competition, unknown objects of interest in the surroundings will be observed and documented. For the navigation task, we have three separate approaches, namely manual, semi-autonomous and fully autonomous. Odometry TF from Z camera is used to track rover's position. The air track alver package is used to detect air tags. A text user interface is used to monitor the rover's location. We have set up Freedom Robotics for teleoperation and added key metrics to monitor important data feeds. The Atom Map ROS package is used for 3D mapping and generating 2D occupancy grid map. The map is then utilized by MoveBase package for autonomous navigation. An alternative approach prepared is using SLAM along with AMCL technique. In maintenance tasks for the manual teleoperation, we are practicing using our custom keyboard teleoperation program, which functions similar to the GUI provided during the competition. Manual mode is just a backup for us as we are strongly focusing on autonomous mode of operation. Currently, we have completed the code for most of the tasks and some of them are under testing. The robotic arm scans all the Aruko markers and stores them. Here, the pollution objects have been added from the stored marker data to avoid pollution with the panel. Again, with marker location, by creating collision objects in place of IMU box, we are able to pick the IMU box and position the IMU box. 